<laughs> you think I like coming in and seeing a model with the storm sneaking no. a little closer? Oh, like, oh, my. first of all, everyone's going to think this is an April Fool's joke. Right. It's not. Which uh -uh. it's not. There are still changes in the track possible. Okay. So this system was one we've been watching. It looked like it was going to stay to the south. Now it's starting to sneak a little further north because Mother Nature wants to play a little Ugh. April Fool's joke on the region. See. The good news now, is yes. the holiday weekend looks fine. Okay. And Great. also, right. it's March, so any snow we get overnight Sunday night into Monday will probably be gone by noon on Monday. So it could be worse. Okay, right? I feel okay. better. A little better. Sure. A little better. Okay. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about it a little bit because what we're talking about obviously is a system that's coming by Sunday night into Monday morning, it's going to cut by to our south and could leave a little snow, possibly even some accumulation. But first, we've got a pretty nice weekend to look at. Let's take a peek outside right now. It doesn't look too nice right now. We've been kind of in and out of the sun and the clouds all day. These dark clouds rolling in looks a little ominous as a band of showers moves through, then it clears out for a bit, then another band of showers moves through, and we're seeing one of these ominous stretches here in Plymouth Meeting from our camera mounted high atop the Place One Apartments there in Plymouth Meeting. Dark clouds in the distance. It looks a little unsettled right now on Storm Scan 3. You can kind of see the edge of the cloud deck here moving right through the Washington, D.C. area, scattered showers along that boundary. It's a cold front and it's really dropped the temperature since yesterday. We were in the 70s, as I'm sure you remember yesterday. Cooler air will be settling in behind this front, but it's not cold air. We're not talking about highs in the 40s this weekend. We're talking about more seasonable temperatures with highs in the upper 50s to finish out the month of March. Here we go with a couple showers still moving through portions of Camden and Gloucester counties down into Salem and Cumberland counties as well. So travel on the Atlantic City Expressway on Route 55, possibly the New Jersey Turnpike still seeing some showers. These are moving out pretty quickly though. And that means we'll clear skies through tonight. So down to 50 degrees right now in Allentown. It's 49 in Reading, 51 in the city, and 56 in Atlantic City. You can see how that cooler air is starting to permeate south and eastward. It's a seasonable stretch that we're entering into, though. Like we said, not as warm as yesterday, not as warm as even earlier today, but upper 50s, pretty seasonable for late March, early April. So over the weekend, we'll be in the upper 50s. Monday's our one chilly day, and that's, of course, the day we're looking at possibly some snow in the morning. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're right back up to the upper 50s. So pretty much how late March, early April is supposed to feel. Tonight we're going to clear it out gradually. It will turn colder as we drop down to 36 degrees. Winds are northwesterly behind that front at 10 to 15. Tomorrow's a nice day. Temperatures in the upper 50s. It's sunny. It's seasonable. It's a great day to get outside. If you're traveling for the upcoming holiday, looks like a good day to be out on the roads as well. But through the weekend, we're going to be watching two things. One is a front that comes through Saturday night. That one falls apart before it really gets here. But Sunday night into Monday, here's this system cuts by to the south and you can see Monday morning, some snow breaks out across the region, mainly from the city on north, rain to the city on, from the city on south. Now, you can take this batch and move it a little further south or move it a little further north, but depending on where you are, there's a good chance that someone in our region does pick up a little snow. So sunny and seasonable Saturday, more clouds around Easter Sunday, Easter night, also April Fool's night, snow is possible for some of us. So what to expect as you wake up Monday morning, that clipper cuts by to the south. There is enough cold air in place at night when we drop down into the 30s that a wet snow mix will develop and some spots may see a grassy coating up to an inch of snow, mainly on the grass. The road should be fine, but you could wake up Monday morning to lots of groans across the area, seeing perhaps some snow on the grass. But here's the good news in the afternoon. Temperatures get into the 50s, so any snow that falls will be out of here super quick. And then we're back to near 60 on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's just maybe one last hopefully parting shot from Mother Nature as we head into next week. Temperatures in the 50s on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Another chance for rain this time, not snow. Rain Tuesday, showers Wednesday, and then it's chilly again Thursday with a high of just 49. So basically the, the theme of the forecast here is don't mm -hmm. put the coat away. No. Mm. And don't be shocked <laughs> if you wake up on Monday morning. You don't have to like it though. You don't have to like it. Parting shot. But just okay. know it's not going to last. No, it, right. Okay. Yeah.